Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, the Everyday Non-Expert here, and today I'm going to be showing you my comic book haul for today, Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021. Please give this video a like by clicking that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you can see more pics or more uh, hauls like this, and I am going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the video, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that, and also click notifications to all so you can see all the videos that have the uh, giveaway in them. And then comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my haul. Is there anything that you picked up that I should have picked up? And lastly, share this on all social media. Uh, if, you, if you want to, um, share it with your friends if you think they like it. And without further ado, let's get started. And first, I'm going to be going over um, the books that I'm really interested in reading. So first, we have Spawn Universe, number one. And, I mean, I'm just really interested in all the stories that they have there. I heard this one, maybe some cool first appearances? I'm not sure. I also heard that it sort of wraps up everything since uh, Spawn 300. So that'll be, that's, that'll be pretty cool if it does. Um, this one is one of my top read picks of the week, Power Rangers number 8. Uh, I'm really excited to see um, the next chapter in this one, see how they get out of it, without going too much into spoiler territory. And then I picked up Something is Killing the Children. And this kind of crosses over between read and spec, but... Um, it's first and foremost a great read, and that's what makes it a good spec for right now. Um, the uh, 16 was her uh, spoiler alerts for 16 and possibly 17. 16 was her introduction into the House of Slaughter and how she, why she was orphaned, how she got orphaned, and how they picked her up, and why. And uh, I'm sure this one will just go more into that story, and I'm really excited for that. This one I just picked up, uh, it was $2, and it just seems like it could be good, uh, if nothing else, for the kids, although you never know how these go. Stray dogs end up not being for kids, so um, Claire and the Dragons, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm actually going to read that one. Uh, Gamma Flight, um, okay, so it does look like we're getting into spec territory. So I will go ahead and do Robin because I loved one and two. That they're really good, but I wasn't gonna pick up three just because you know money's a thing. And I heard there could be an allusion to a character who could be on the island, and I'm really excited to see that. And you just get more, um, more Damian Wayne, which you know is always a good thing. So next up is. Uh, Gamma Flight from the pages of Immortal Hulk. I picked up pretty much everything Immortal Hulk related. So, we got Gamma Flight. I heard there's some first appearances in here too. There's Puck on the cover from Alpha Flight. So, I'm sure Alpha Flight is gonna overlap, I'm guessing. And then we have Detective Comics 1038. And I actually read that there's a first appearance in here. And, uh, but I don't know any, really anything about it, but I already get, um, the Detective Comics anyway. I get Batman and Detective Comics week, uh, monthly anyway. And then next is Vinyl, number one. This is by Image Comics, and I actually got the cover with the face. There's the cover with the bear suit head on it. I didn't get any incentives or anything. I just got this one, or store exclusives. This next one, I'm actually really excited for it. I didn't realize it was going to be $9, um, but the art alone has me so, um, it just triggers my nostalgia. Boom. Sonic the Hedgehog 30th Anniversary. I actually have pretty much a long box full of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 through whatever and including his first appearance in Justice League Europe 33. I have two of those. Um, I loved Sonic growing up and my stepson loves Sonic so 
We stopped reading at about 16, they're in their 30s now, just because that's the age he about kind of got into video games, so he'd rather play Sonic more than read it. And his reading goes more towards academic style reading. Um, so it's just, he now chooses his free time to be video games as opposed to comics, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, good luck, number one from Bum Boom Studios. I actually got this foil of cover A which seems pretty cool um, I heard it uh, the concept of it seems pretty good and I'm excited to actually read this one but I got the foil because I don't know it just seems like that one could be the spec version of it or it could just be another berserker and I just have a bunch of foils that don't do anything this next one is basically spec. I haven't read Stray Dogs. I sold my first uh, number one first prank, but I have um, the number four first print. So I have one third print. I have um, this is four second print. So I might wait till they get a um, and there's number five. Five. I might wait until they get uh, a later printing of number two and three and then I'll just kind of binge read it but those ones um, like for my personal collection I don't mind having later prints honestly I'll flip first prints uh, like with my daredevil uh, daredevil 25 I've been on daredevil since day one for the chip Sadarsky run and 25 just happened to hit, so I sold that for like 30 bucks, and then that paid for my haul for the week, and then I just got a second print. In fact, I got like three or four second prints the next time, sold several of those for 10 bucks a piece that day, and then, or the, the day that came out, and I just have one second print from my, um, from my collection, and then if the price comes down, then I have that first print, and if not, then that second print, and maybe the more issues in the run will go up, in the long term otherwise I think that most of the time uh, if there's an individual issue as opposed to like a number one there's an individual issue that that rises up in price for the first print I will sell it get the second print from my personal collection and then wait for that price whether it's 10 15 20 years down the line to drop down and I'll pick it for my my personal collection all right well that is my haul for today and I actually did get some Chilling Rain Pokemon packs and I got a XY Evolution pack. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. And next, let's do the giveaway. Okay, everybody, this is gonna be a kind of a lot right here. So last week's video actually had um, a giveaway, it was these two. And it looks like only six people commented, so you got a pretty good chance at winning. Now I had the number generator pulled up, and I have it set to um, 1 through 10, and I had 10 up. It, 2 came up, but I don't want any chance of there being. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to 6. So, let's see. Generate 4. Alright, so we go, and fourth comment was 1, 2, 3, 4. Joe M. Great list, thanks. New sub, thank you for subbing. Awesome giveaway, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, no thank you. Uh, I'm all in on Tinian, so nice house on the lake, but Sinister War looks cool. I couldn't agree with you more. Nice house on the lake is gonna be a great pick, and uh, Sinister War, I hope it's amazing. Uh, if you're actually uh, watching this video, what do you think, and other people can comment too, but since you brought it up, specifically about Sinister War, what do you think about my theory that maybe they could be leaning towards these teams as opposed to the old school Sinister, uh, Sinister Six team? So, um, because, you know, the MCU is always going towards the newer stuff, and especially if they're reintroduce they're introducing these into um, the Marvel comics now, and I believe Kevin Feige is not just head of Marvel studio movie stuff, he's head of everything Marvel. So I don't believe that these two teams would have been created without his approval or even his idea. So 
Um, you can read, you can message me at the everyday non expert on Instagram. Um, and then the best way, that would be the best way to uh, DM me your address. And the other guys, I'm really sorry for from last week. I'm just so far uh, behind. I am getting you out your books. Um, I haven't. I have your the Nightwing 88 or 87 right here. Sorry, 78 and the Berserkers right next to it. So it's not like I sold them or anything. But I just I haven't had a chance to to get those out um, and then the giveaway for this one is going to be let's see comment just comment um, what your favorite uh, book is that you picked up this week or if you didn't pick anything up what's your favorite book that I picked up this week so not all comments are going to qualify you have to specifically comment about that and I do need to do a new disclaimer that I haven't done in my last two, that you do need to be in the United States. I am not going to be doing free shipping internationally, unfortunately. So if you're not located in the United States or have some type of address I could ship the book to in the United States, um, I will have to repick a, a winner for my giveaways. And eventually I may be, I think I'm going to, I might be thinking, I'm thinking of doing the Darth Vader one. I don't know. There's really nothing out there on eBay. It's, I think, $2.99 right now. Um, and then that, I don't know. Should I do that for 1,000 subscribers? And then eventually, I know it's a 9.4, but I mean, I don't know if I want to do a huge, like, live and get some super chats cause to, um, and that, to make it worth giving up this kind of a book. Um, so, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? You can also comment that down below. Now, the giveaway for this one uh, is going to be actually Oblivion Song number one. This has been optioned for a long time in the, in, in the works. Um, this is not the uh, pink signature variant, so I don't want you to get all excited and think that it is. Uh, but I don't have any of those except for this one. Um, this one is the pink signature variant, and it has the Kirkland signature 9.8 uh, CGC, and I got this from my uh, got that from my local LCS. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's the giveaway. You will be picking. You will be winning an Oblivion song. And sorry about this. Uh, Joe M, please um, again contact me via. Uh, Instagram, that would be the best way. If there's not, for any reason we need to do something different, go ahead and comment in the comment section down below uh, this one or on your previous comment in that video. Either way, I'll see it. So, uh, again, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you're interested in the, the giveaway. I try to do books that people are interested in. I'm not at the point where I can give away ones that, have, that are worth too much money. Um, but if that Boba Fett hits, that one's going to be good. Uh, I mean, Berserker is a good one. Nightwing 78 was good. Uh, Blooming Song could be it could be good once that finally hits. Once we get a trailer, you know that's gonna jump. So, anyway, uh, thanks again for checking out this video. Enough of my rambling. I'll let you go. On your way out, if you could click that thumbs up to give this video a like, click that subscribe button so you see more videos like this, as well as my uh, Pokemon unboxings and my FOC videos coming out tomorrow. That will have a separate uh, one in it. And then, uh, oh, for this giveaway, you are going to have to have the comments. Um, both of this and the FOC, your comment will have to be in by... Um, like basically by midnight the Tuesday night before new comic book day so um, this one will have it and then the FOC will have the giveaway and uh, yeah all right um, don't forget to like subscribe notification bell comment share on social media all that good stuff and I'll see you on the FOC or in the Pokemon whichever one you see next thanks for stopping by